you're not sharing. I'm uh, just so you know. Oh yeah, I know that. Okay. Jerk. Be right back. Try to, jerk. Try to call you just me call me a jerk. Yeah, dude. Yeah, you need to watch. Your, you need to watch yeah. your shit. Yeah, you need to no. watch yourself. This is live too. We just went live, so everybody caught you being a jerk. I'm not a jerk. What a real jerk. What a real jerk we got going on here. Oh God. What a I real jerk. I am the captain now. All right, now I'm sure you're joining me. Remy, how you doing? That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I don't care. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, Remy, like stop being a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Jerk. Jerks Anonymous. Dang, there's so many jerks <laughs> up in this. Yeah. Dang. Hello, everybody that's joining us. Hey, Mateus. Good old Mateus. One of the greatest painters I ever met in my whole life. Mateus Barisalt. I tell stories about you all the time. You do? Is I do, he watching literally. Yeah, uh, it said it is. He might have just saw it and then just immediately evacuated. He's just like, oh, oh, this is a mistake. <laughs> he was like, oh man, this Anthony Jones guy. I don't know if he's that good. Uh, I'll be back, guys. Sorry. But um, yeah, no, Mateus is awesome. Who else is up here? James is up in here. Valentin, Johnny Hall. What's up, Johnny? Good old Johnny. Another great painter up in this business. Abner, Rochelle, see him. All right, so Johnny, are you are you in the actual? I'm in the voice channel now. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Johnny? So you, you finally figured out who I was. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that guy? Yeah, Who's that Johnny? Uh, yeah, it's hard. It's hard for me to know just by voices. I still don't know half of you guys, so I just I'm just pretending to be you guys' friends. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of. You think he's joking? <laughs> this is kind of <laughs> laggy, I just realized. Because it's like, the join me, plus the stream, plus the Discord, plus Skype. Here, let me close Skype. Oh, do you have a Windows, what is it called? Windows Ink on your Wacom settings? No. I saw somebody posted this workaround, and since I assume you upgraded to the new version, they probably turned it back on. You might have to look into that. Because it was causing my stream to lag, and I once I found that solution, it worked. You have to turn off Windows Ink. No, it's just literally because I'm streaming like three different things. <laughs> it's just like tons of things on right now. That's what no, it I, is. I, I'm right. You're wrong. No, I'm I, pretty I, sure I'm, I'm right. right. I'm right. You're wrong. I'm right. <laughs> What's up, Benjamin? <laughs> Good to catch you too, buddy. Gets me out of vehicle design for a while. <laughs> what? Cool. All right, so let me, let me do some studying. So let's try to let's try to recap where were we last. So I was learning some of the forearm because I feel like I should learn more of the forearm, right? And so where I was at was basically memorizing some of the muscles. And another thing that I was trying to do was trying to understand what muscles are worth drawing. I did some secondary studies outside of what we did, y'all. Um, but it's all good. So if we were to draw this, this is the radius, and this is the ulna, okay, and then we'll just do an airbrush. Airbrush erasing. Yeah, so we have this Discord group where we all hang out, and I paint and talk, and we just like do a little bit of studying. They do study outside too. You guys study without me, right? Which I hope so. Yes. That's good. Hell no. Oh, what the? That sounds like Aaron. That sounds like a jerk. Straight from Florida. Florida is full of just weirdos. Alligator chasers. Crocodile chasers. Anyway. Drinking milkshakes all day? Yeah, just drinking. There's a... There is a... There is a story that I just heard about a Florida guy who had like elect like electricity strapped to his balls. And he kept telling people to come up to see him, and he'd like shock his balls right in front of him. Florida. Yeah, so that was my brother. Yeah, I just figured it was. <laughs> yeah, of course for <laughs> just fun. Just on a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, uh, do some of you guys remember the name of this muscle? I do. Just seeing if anyone else does. The one I just drew. Y'all failed. Uh, <laughs> it's all right. 
It's the brachio radialis because because it is. <laughs> I don't have a like. It was easy for me to remember because I know the brachialis and the brachio are like these two things are just like right here on the outsides. And so it makes sense for me to remember this because I know that the the radius is on the outside of the arm and the the ulna is on the inside. Um, if you were to do palm face forward, <clears throat> and that helped a lot to remember a lot of these muscles. Yeah, because the next one right here, which is connected to the humerus, which I found out, this right here, the pro, pronate, uh, pronator teres, sick, because, uh, because these are terrorists that are pro, and they hide underneath the bra uh, brachioradialis, right? That's what I remember. Uh, right after that is a flexor. No, 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 yeah, flexors. Yeah, the extensors are on the back. And then this flexor is also connected to the radius. So, definitely radius is in there, and so it's a flexor, but there's another name. And this is basically, you know, the carpet of the arms, these flexors. So this is the flexor carpi radialis. Sick. Sickness. Also connected up right behind that is a... And then this is like a... a non-prominent tendon that you don't see. But this, I, I don't, if I remember correctly, I have to look at my reference again. But this one definitely is a very prominent uh, tendon that you do see in the arm. And this is also another muscle, but it's not a flexor. Sandwiched between the flexors, we would find ourselves a uh, the palmaris longus. Because it's long, it, take, it needs to be real long to get to the palm. That's how I remember that. And then the last flexor is right on the outside, and that flexor is connected to the ulnus, so then flexor carpi ulnaris. I'm not sure how to pronounce the last one, but that's what it sounds like it's pronounced. So now let's learn the back side of the, the hand a little bit, or the forearm. Let's try to memorize. Now, I've always known these muscles on a secondary level, like, Meaning that I didn't really know the names of them. I usually just grouped them up and just kind of tumor monster draw them in there. Kind of fake it in. Fake it in. But uh, I'm getting more into like, you know, sculpting and also just trying to do more the designs of, of creatures. Uh, and creatures are normally naked. And so normally I can get away with having my muscles not be 100% accurate because, you know, um, usually my characters are clothed, right? And the only real stuff I needed to pay attention to was most of, like, the the face and um, the, basically just the face. <laughs> Everything else can be covered, and usually it is covered. But in in the sense of creature design, I want to need, I need to get refresh in my anatomy and start memorizing more of the secondary slash tertiary muscles. Um, not the super tertiary muscles, the ones that nobody ever sees, but definitely the ones that are seen. So I got some more reference. This reference is gathered from various of places. This one specifically was this one that I'm rolling around. It was gathered from the Grey's Anatomy book that was found there's like a whole website that just like has all the illustrations and text and like barlaby.com Um yeah. If someone knows exactly, I know uh I know Mid knows. He's the one that hooked me up. But if anyone else has a link, just put it in the chat if you don't mind. Learn about anatomy sketch now, guys. Yeah. Hey, who, who's watching their windows? Like right in the middle of the class? Who is this? Or in the middle of the session? Was that was that Mike? <laughs> Mike here? Mike just went washing windows? <laughs> Wait, something happened? Yeah, yeah, I think it was you. I think as soon I as you muted. I got up and walked away. How how could there be noise? That was me. My stupid Discord keeps keeps unmuting itself. I'm wiping all this junk off my mouse pad. Uh, uh, someone was definitely wiping some. Yeah, yeah. I can still hear it. I can hear the wiping. Yeah, that's oh, that's not any. I'm not doing okay, anything. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> you know my um it's wake. My jacket. You know what's really disgusting is like after I'm done talking or teaching a class, I look down at my wake up tablet. It's just covered in like spit. What? Spit and dandruff, beard dandruff. <laughs> it's just disgusting. I'm like, ugh. I have to always wipe it down. I use something called uh, ruthless. Ruthless is uh, can kill AIDS. Anyway, so let's uh, let's get into this.
So there you go. We got the brachioradialis. Again, this is on the outside of the arm. I don't think I'm going to do the inside. We'll do it on the back now. We'll do more of the inside later. So the brachioradialis. So that's on the outside. That's the one right here. And then, apparently right next to that, or behind it, is the extensor carpi radialis longus. It's a lot of words to remember. But I can remember most of those. Extensor, because I already know it's the back of the hand. Or back of the forearm, that's already easy enough to remember. Um, and then carpi, it's just like a thing, I guess, that's connected to the... I need to kind of rewind and see why, medically, why they call it carpi. Because um, it's connected to the flexors, and it's also connected to the extensors. It's not connected to anything else, at least to what I've seen. Um, okay, alright, so, so then the extensor carpi radialis is connected to the brachial brachial radialis and that's that shape that you ever see if you ever see like a frazetta painting or something like that um there's like that and this is something that i always do too like whenever i'm drawing like this side of a i go like this and i always draw that because it's like so clearly defined in in the arm and now i kind of know exactly why and i know now why it dips down too because it's two parts right so we got the brachio radialis and then we got the extensor let's see if i remember extensor carpi radialis longus a radi yeah nailed it meaning that this is all connected to the radius which is right here right here cool Okay. My mouth is kind of tired right now, even though I wasn't the one speaking those Latin words. <laughs> were, you, were you trying to say it out loud to, your, to yourself? Not really, but I was just thinking about it. <laughs> You're like, I know what it is, but I'm not going to say it. Yeah, it's a lot of words. Okay, so this is where it's going to get interesting. All right, so I'm just going to remember the extensors and how they work. I should probably learn the abductors too, huh? The abductor... Polis longus. No, no, no. That's too much. Let's just focus on. And that's a that's a trick too, or tip, guys, is that whenever you're trying to remember like some significant names or uh, muscle groups, just try to learn a few at a time. Don't try to learn like a whole set of them. I think, like for instance, you could probably learn like most of the upper torso, um, like the big ones, like the big muscles, and you don't even have to name them properly. You know, you can like. Like a bodybuilding, like an amateur bodybuilder kind of level, you know? Just like the pecs, the altoids, the biceps, triceps, you know, extensor flexors. Um, just like on a high, on a high, high primary level, not like on a secondary tertiary. Just learn it like that. Now I'm on the secondary because I feel like I'm, it's time for me to really get down dirty. To, and I used to know most of these um, pretty well, but I just didn't really exercise them enough. So I just kind of like forgotten them, but I, I've forgotten them enough. I didn't memorize them enough to even kind of stay even remotely memorable. Um, anyway, so I'm going to change that today. So then we got the extensor carpi radialis brevis, brevis, and that is right in between the extensor, the 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 big extensor that's connected to the radio uh, brachial radialis. And the other big extensor, the one I think is also noticeable, I can't see myself in the mirror right now. I don't have a big enough mirror. But that one's definitely noticeable. You can, like, I think if you flex, yeah, you can definitely feel that mother effort. And I think that's also connected to the extensor. I think these two are kind of grouped together. The ex extensor carpi ulnaris. That one's going to be easy to remember. It's basically the one that's connected to the, ul the ulna, which is on the outside. And then the extensor digitorum uh Cominus, I'm just going to call it Cominus, and Brevis, it's Digitorum, so it's kind of like the ex extensor digitorum, extensor is connected to the digits, the middle one, it's connected to your digits, and it's trying to communicate to your digits, hence extensor digitorum communis, okay, and then the one that's hidden between that and the uh, extensor carpi radialis, Longus, Jesus, eccentric carpi radialis brevis, brevis, like grievous, it's like shady, it's like a bro, it's like a bro, the bro version of grievous, but he's like hiding out between the, 
the communis behind the one that talks out of digits, and then uh, behind the awesome Frazetta muscles, the extensor carpi radialis longus. Okay, I think I got this. All right. There you go. Jeez, this is a lot. <laughs> a lot of things to remember. If this if this was a podcast, it'd sound like you were having a seizure. <laughs> yeah. I know. I mean, it's great though. I I think I did. <laughs> I don't think I. I think I literally did have a seizure. I'm right, I'm right on the mic. Yeah, I think I actually did have a seizure. Okay, so here we go. So there we go. Um, so these are exaggerated for the sake of. So we got the the brachioradialis, and then also connected to that is the extensor radialis. No, no, no. Extensor carpi radialis longus. Hiding behind this mother effer is the extensor. Is it also extensor carpi radialis brevis, or is it just extensor radialis brevis? But it's definitely a brevis. And then between those, oh, I need to, I need to learn where this actually connected. Oh, oh so sorry. The extens, the extensor digitorum communis, right? Because this mother effer is talking to those digits. And by the way, it's only talking. I noticed there was only three digits. So it's only talking to the index finger, middle finger, and the ring finger. The pinky is connected with the the last extensor that I saw, which is the easier one, extensor carpi ulnaris. But now I need to learn how to connect this. Like, how are these actually connected? I didn't actually pay attention to that. All right, let's take a look. Oh, so this is kind of like, not even like the full back, because this is like the back of the, the humerus. Ah, it's kind of like a turned... This is like this is normal to the, to your side, right? Like a, a, the neutral position of the arm. I see. Okay, so then that means that it is connected probably to the humerus. Yeah, absolutely. Oh man, that's a lot. I need to like unravel this muscles. It's alright. I think I'm learning these muscles are good. Okay. What else is there? Just seizures. Seizures. Extensor digi quinti proprius. Man, you guys need to figure. You, you medical people need to shorten these names, y'all. <laughs> Just call it the one that can, the the muscle that connects to your middle finger, yo. <laughs> I guess that's actually longer. more. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's actually longer. Yeah. It's okay. Like it turns into a phrase. So, so the way that I drew this was inaccurate. So this is like uh, I was assuming that we were looking at the back view. So this is as if it was the side view, and all this stuff goes underneath that. And there's another muscle that I think I should memorize. What is that muscle? The ink. Oh my god, they have that weird, like, freaking, like, Latin or Greek AE, like, connected. Inconius? 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 Does anyone know how to say that? Anchonius? Anconius? Anconius? Maybe? Wrong. Yeah, you're such a <laughs> jerk. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even talk. You jerk. <laughs> Let's just try to help. Let's just try to help you. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then that's definitely connected to the ulna. Okay. So then, if I were to draw the ulna, that'd be up in that. And the ulna is definitely visible. You can even touch it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. Okay. Good stay. All right. So now we're saying that we're looking at the side view, and we got. We got these shapes going on up in this. Okay. All right. Brachioradialis. Bam. One right after that. Oh, you know what? This is all connected to this. So there you go. Let's do this. Okay. Bam. Brachioradialis. Second one. Extensor. Uh oh. Extensor carpi radialis longus. Oh god. Oh my god. This one that's hidden, the brevis. It's either the extensor um, radialis, extensor carpi radialis brevis, which is extensor 
Radialis Brevis. I need to double check that one. And then the one that's hidden behind all that, that goes all the way down. Chia. This mother effa is, we are going to call that one the extensor digiton, digicom, digi something. You guys remember? Extensor digit. You guys don't care. You guys don't care. Get out of here. John, you and your sausages. Um, <laughs> extensor digit, digitorum hey, longus. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Who was that in the background? Slap him in the face. They're not allowed to be here. This is only a free stream. Um, oh, my father is watching. What's up, father? I don't know if he's still watching. Um, digitorum. Yeah, digitorum, definitely. Longus. Extensor digitorum longus. And then, connected to... Behind all that stuff, behind all that noise, too... Right, we got the other extensor, extensor carpi ul ulnaris, easy. And then this this one that kind of overlaps all this mother effer was the anchovius, anchovius, and canovius, and canoius, and canoeus. What was it called, Sam? What did you call it? Um. Fired. Wrong. Anconius. Yeah, Anconius, you can know it. Here you are. <laughs> And then this is I the said Ancaneus, but it's Ancaneus. Ancaneus, Ancaneus. Ancaneus, Ancaneus. Ooh. Ancaneus. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I think we did it. Or I did it. You guys are just useless. <laughs> Alright. Well, that was it. I think that's that's it for me for learning some anatomy. Jesus. Did My you guys. Self esteem. <laughs> Well, well, you you name them. What is this? What is this one named? Yo, hold up, me? Yeah, you. Bro, I've been doing my own thing. Uh, okay, whoever's oh, been paying goodness. attention, then. What is one, this one called? Johnny Hall. We're gonna put you at blast. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. John, maybe John is. What is this one named? All right, cool. Yeah, Nobody. <laughs> I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to learn uh, some anatomies. E extensor brachialis. Oh, uh, you're a fool. <laughs> Those were some of the words, just not the right ones. You are mistaken. <laughs> Freestyle streaming. <laughs> Richie, Richie Raj Singh Sku Gawat. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you guys have... Oh yeah, I'm definitely using pure ref. Yeah, absolutely. Think uh, for anyone who's asking, Anconius, you said it right, Anthony. Thank you, thank you, Lorena. Either you should try skeletal premium and muscle premium. It shows muscle uh, premium and skeletal, or it shows it shows muscle systems and skeletal systems. I'm assuming sure, I mean, that's what you're saying. Good for students as well. Pronunciation, movement, animation is shown. Yeah, uh, Jack, can you like put the link? in the chat or something, please. I would love to grab that and check it out. Alright. Well, that's it for that. I'm going to do some sculpting now. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. Join me. You useless. You useless. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I know you guys are excited about it. But the day is done. Alright. Now if you guys want to watch, you can just watch on the stream. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up in uh why is join me still get out of here, join me? It closed. It did? It looks yeah. like it hasn't closed. Uh, I'll just hardcore close it. <laughs> oh my screen just went black. Did you guys see that? They closed in the stream. Maybe. Oh okay. Oh uh, what the Okay, maybe now it's working. There you go. Sweet deals. Alright. Now, I'm not going to sculpt or paint what I just learned. I just going to let that sit in the back of my mind. But later on, what I usually do... Wait, are you, are you able to uh, moderate, John or Mike? Any of you guys? What do you want from me? I'm just asking. Take some questions. 
Yeah. All right. So if yeah. anyone has any questions, feel free to ask. And that goes for the people that are also hanging out in the Discord. Johnny Night Hall. Glider. Specifically, you, Johnny Hall. Um. But anyway. You know what? <laughs> Damn. Dang. Um. But yeah, I usually, whenever I'm studying something, I usually uh, study it and then I just let it sit in the background of my mind, and then I come back to it and try to see if I remember. Especially like stuff like that vocabulary. Yeah, it's it's a good tool to memorize things. Uh, so, whoa. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> and anywho. So, yeah. You stupid son of. <laughs> how, how you doing, Johnny? By the way, before we get into this, before we let the other John ruin this, derail this whole stream. Johnny Hall, how you doing? Oh yeah, doing good. Doing very good. Yeah, that's cool, man. How's work? Uh, it's been good. Uh, you know, it's uh, recently just uh, on a bit of a break, but uh, oh, okay. probably gonna pick up, pick up again soon. Yeah, how's the, the? I know you guys were doing like sketch groups or like study groups or something, right? You guys yeah. were doing some yeah. sketch I'm doing banana. A, a sketch a group called Sketch Banana in Toronto. We've we've only done a few meetups so far and it's been pretty like uh it's been pretty casual so far but i think uh, that's good i want to start doing like prompts for stuff where we can like start doing uh like little sessions where we're learning more stuff instead of just like just randomly sketching all the time but we'll see how it goes i think uh randomly sketching all the time is fine you know in the beginning it's great. No, it's great. yeah just, it gets like the goal is just to get people out there right it's not so much about just doing stuff. Uh, like this whole study group stuff, this is like the second time I did like a real study thing with a bunch of y'all. But it clearly is I'm the only one studying, you guys are just hanging out. <laughs> um, but like it's cool to get people together and to try to learn together too. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think there's a problem with that. I used to run a concert club when I was in school with uh, Caitlin Chuck. And we uh, we used to do that all the time. We would just like it was me, Kalen Chalk, our buddies Edgar, Nino, Mio, all of our good friends that we went to school with. Yeah, we just sit down and talk to each other and ask questions about like why things looks like a thing. It was really cool. Uh, we would also give each other like homework assignments where like one person would come back the next class and just try to teach something to everybody. I think that a lot of that helped me become a better teacher. Just doing stuff like that, just with no pressure. Um, but at the same time, you know, you were trying to bring something to, to the table, help your fellow classmates out. So I get it. I'm down with that. Down with OPP. I'm going to time myself. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Um, but yeah, cool. So who's this Justin, or I'm sorry, John Hall? Johnny Hall. Okay. He's a badass. That's all you need to worry about. <laughs> Sweet. That's all you need to worry about. How's everyone else doing? Remy? How you doing, Remy? Uh, uh, Shut up. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Remy's also a badass. Got a lot of badass. Got nothing but nothing badasses. Is. Nothing I saw your animation. That was tight. Then. Oh, thanks, man. That yeah, was all right. You could do better. But... <laughs> Yeah. You keep going. <laughs> you are Jack. You are Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Did we get Aaron in here, I think. Aaron's up in here too. Aaron's also Hell badass. No, no, I'm yeah. not. Yeah, Aaron's definitely. Is that definitely. Aaron Penner? Penner? Is that Aaron Penner? Aaron, Aaron or Penner? Yeah, you better be practicing Smash. <laughs> Aaron Penner. Oh, man. Dude, Aaron's super competitive, man. Whenever nice. we play games. Like we, were, I remember that one game. I think we were playing Coup. Was it Coup? Yeah, it was Coup. And uh, you know, I think it was Germa's first time playing Coup, and you just didn't give him a break. And then he's like, "Coup is so much fun, man." Yeah, he was just like, "Yo, I'm gonna call you BS." He's like, "All right," and he just shows his card. And I was like, "Whoa, dude, you should give him a chance." That. I was like, "You didn't give him a chance at all." He's like, "I don't care. I play for keeps." I play for keeps. And they've never spoken since. What's up, Miguel? Coronado? How are you doing? Wait, Miguel up in this chat? Yeah, he's in the chat. In the in Discord or just in the chat? He's in the chat, Facebook chat. Dang, dude, you need to work on those anger management. 
Yeah, right. We talked about this, Jed. You know, how are you going to make friends if you keep doing that, yelling at people? Someone said, AJ, you should try Skeletal Premium and Muscle. Oh, Premium. dude. Welcome to the club, yeah, bro. Late. Whoa. Yeah, dang, dang. You guys already read that? Yeah, get Aaron. <laughs> get Aaron Pennell. Aaron Penny. Aaron Penny. Get Aaron Penny to moderate, dude. I've, I've heard it all. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard it all already. Pine tree, pineapple. How do you how do you organize all your art and stuff folder wise? Uh, I I really don't. I just uh, I just <laughs> I just do. I just make a new folder and just dump them in there and number them. That's like the latest thing that I've done. But I, I do the normal stuff too, like where people just like the fastest keys to type, like ADF, ADFG, ADF H, ADF H H H H, ADF F F H H H. Um, the best way to catalog my Im images is just to um, save them as JPEGs as well as PSDs. So that way I, I can, like, look at them too. Because <laughs> it's going to be obviously the easiest way to, for me to um, remember what was that actual file. Um, but I've started to get, like, ever since I've been doing more and more 3D, I've been a lot more attentive to file naming. And that good habit transferred to uh, digital painting. So, yeah. To file saving in a uh, in Photoshop. I feel like a real asshole when it comes to file naming conventions. Yeah, well, everything takes effort, you know. Everything. Uh, that's one of the easiest things to get better at, though. You just gotta keep doing it. That's all. You just gotta make sure you're not. To... It, what it is is like you're just lazy, right? Like you just don't want to like. Ugh. I don't want to take this one second to write it down. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then, uh, but that one second will save you like those 10 minutes later down the line when you're trying to find the <laughs> file. <laughs> so it's like, when I, it comes to, I realize uh, saving. Learn squared, though. When it comes to Learn Squared, like there is a naming convention that you need to stick to because like I'm starting to realize that, you know, there's an efficient way of communicating, like, especially when there's editors, you know? Like how Absolutely. Get done. When there's other people around, yeah. I have to. It's like, all right, makes sense. And I keep fucking it up. Oh, cool. Accountable. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I um, yeah. So I just name them, whatever. Um, right now, like for instance, like my files, um, like oh yeah, pure ref ups. Um, so for instance, I've been doing a pretty good job. I should save this. Uh, for uh, anatomy. See, uh, you can see I've been saving more and more often. Even like the pure ref, like it's cool. You can save kind of the reference that you had, so you can just pop it up real quick. Like it's awesome. Anyway, so if you look on the left, I have like all this stuff organized. And in terms of my artwork, I just got like new. New is just like the file, and I just named them one, two, all the way to fifty nine. That's how many images I got in this folder, but then I have an old one, and I have other stuff that are just floating around, based off of, like, old stuff that I didn't really name before. But I'm naming it differently, so it's helping me get through. It's much easier to find stuff so much easier. So, yeah, that's how I do that. Anyway, how are you doing, Aaron? Pretty how's, good. How's work? Uh, works great. That's good, dude. Awesome. Uh, so right. couldn't, couldn't be much better. Love it. Where are you working at? Uh, scroll pad. We're going nice, with James, James Peaks. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. It is so cool. So proud of you, man. I'm Thanks, man. I'm sort of proud of you. Oh, okay. You could do better. That's all I, ex that's all I expect from you. You could do, you <laughs> could do better. You could do better. Yeah, you could work at SpaceX. I think SpaceX would be better. SpaceX. <laughs> no, he's not good enough. Yeah, no. Yeah, you, you could do better. No, no, Ben Marley's on NASA, that's right. Ben Marley, at least last time we saw, he was on NASA. Yeah. Lucky. So... Do you know any uh, artists that are working at um, <clears throat> SpaceX? Nah, I don't know anybody. Yeah. I mean, I might know them, but it's not telling me. Are there any artists that work for the government? We just we just named one. Isn't NASA... A, or is, no, NASA is not a government run. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. Government puts money in there. Well, and tax money I'm sure goes there. They have some kind of, yeah, I'm sure they have some kind of. Yeah, it uh, is. It's the, uh, 
it's uh, SpaceX that's not, right? It's private, private yeah. owned. Crazy. That's probably why I don't work at NASA, so I don't know what the hell it is. <laughs> Any, anywho, yeah, it is cool. Yeah, I'm sure there's some artists, like, I know there's, like, artists that do, like, forensic artwork, like, you know those, like, scenes, the reenactments and stuff like that? There's people that do those types of paintings mm -hmm. and illustrations. Such a cool thing. Dude, um off topic a little bit I saw like a little there's like this uh, marine iguana short clip that was like uh, based off of the that was from the new uh, Planet Earth like documentary the Planet Earth 2 or volume 2 whatever the heck they're calling it and it was freaking insanity it was so cool man I was like what it was <laughs> so fascinating they like they, they did such a good job I'm like so excited I can't wait to see it can't wait to be inspired by nature's planet life too or planet uh, earth too have yeah. you seen that is that what you're talking about yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so good man <laughs> I'm like way more pissed for that film yeah. that's never come out wait sit, sit again you're like banging some pots and pans as soon as you start talking <laughs> oh sorry yeah there's a little there's a little bit of background noise uh, I, I was just saying like I'm so hyped for that like more than most films that have like ever come out dude I, I saw yeah, that yeah. clip I saw that clip and I was like on the edge of my seat it was, it was crazy I was just like Vsauce. this is real Vsauce Vsauce <laughs> <laughs> hey bro take it easy Vsauce has an interview with uh, Jesus Jesus, an whoa! With, yeah. <laughs> whoa How do you book something like that? <laughs> God damn it! Uh, Vsauce has an interview with the uh, the direct, like not the director, but the uh, person who like talks about the what's the name of the person who's giving the speech? Commentator. Commentator. Thank you. Who is that? Damn. Aaron Perner. Five points. Aaron oh, Perner. Yeah. Five points. That's Aaron, at least five. Aaron yeah, Penner. Yeah, really good. Really good talk. Really exciting. Yeah. When does, when does that come out? Do you, do you guys know? I feel like it's already out. And they're just showing it, and I don't know. It probably is. So BBC is, you know, it's not from our country, so they're like, oh, yeah, we'd we, we be watching it right now. <laughs> you stupid Americans. Oh, man, you worry about your presidency, right? Now I'm going Australian. I went to... English to Australian. It happened to me all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. But, uh, yeah, I'm, like, really excited about it. More than some feature films. I share that same sentiment, Mr. Johnny Hall. Yeah. Um, speaking of good movies, though, or movies I liked, uh, dude, Doctor Strange, man. That was... Oh, I liked it. Snap. I loved it, man. So good. Never like have Ant Man more. You're uh, wrong. Uh, that's cool. Ant Man was good, yeah. <laughs> but like I never felt so like inspired. Like after watching, I was like, I want to make art. I, I was like, I want to be a magic man. I want to be a magic man. <laughs> it was cool. Just like the whole idea of like everything about it was got my imagination sparking. I appreciate uh, Marvel's attempt to challenge science and life. I'm just throwing a you know, superhero in there. Awesome. Yeah, it was great though too. Yeah, it was really good. Jeez, I loved Ant Man too. But Ant Man was just I like did. a good movie. Yeah, I think I enjoyed it more just just the laughs, the laugh more. <laughs> yeah, I um, I want us to go watch uh, Hackshaw. I was talking to Will on the last stream. Hackshaw. Yeah, it's the Mel Gibson film. It's the one about the guy who goes to war, but he doesn't fire a weapon at all. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah apparently, uh, yeah, apparently it's like a kick, kick butt movie. Wait, hold oh, on, yeah. just a second, my wife. Okay. Uh, yeah, just give me something that I'm gonna eat. Uh, sure. Thank you, sweetheart. Um, anywho, just getting some grub. Get some vegetable fried rice, homies. What about chicken? <laughs> uh, you know what? 
<laughs> I would if it didn't murder animals. Oh, shit. oh snaps! Oh, same Stop same thing, it. man. Same. Did you see that Ghost in the Shell snippet? No, I didn't see it. Talking about the real life action one. Real, real life action one? <laughs> live real action? Life, it's real life action. <laughs> the real life actions. Because there's like real life action in it, man. Yeah. There's man. like real life action. It's happening. It's happening right as we speak, this real life action. <laughs> I thought it was cool. I haven't seen it. I'll check it out after the stream. It takes about one minute. You should watch it now. Oh, no. A whole minute? Uh, yeah, it's a minute, though. Uh I don't even have the patience to. Like Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. I don't even have the patience to properly yeah, name my no, files. <laughs> <laughs> Let alone watch a minute clip of something I don't care about. I'm not. I'm really I'm not really that like excited it. about oh. Ghost in the Shell. I know it's like a cl classic, something akin to like Akira, if Akira is being made. But oh, I'm like, man. I'm like. Uh, I think Ghost in the Shell already. Wait, what the? I hear someone in the background. <laughs> Is that Germa? Go slap Germa in the face. It's like, Germa! Yeah, it. <laughs> it's like in another room. Dang, he's just loud. He's just loud, man. Um, not to say that it's going to be bad, or I'm not going to go watch it, or anyone who worked on it like didn't do a good job. Um, I just... I'd rather watch Planet Earth. <laughs> I'm like rather, I'm more excited like about that. Sure. Uh, a movie that I'm probably even more excited about that's about to come out is um, Arrival. Arrival looks great, and I love I love science fiction movies. So anything mm -hmm. that's like like hardcore science, I'm really down for. Like Life, too, and but plus like Ghost in the Shell already exists. I can already watch Ghost in the Shell. I don't have to wait for it. It's already uh, out. And it's already great. And yeah, uh, that that to me, I usually even don't even judge. Uh, I don't even say like, uh, or at least I try not to. Sometimes I might. I try not to be like, "Oh, this one's better than the." I try to treat them as they're just independent. They're just different, you know. Yeah. Because <laughs> because the original still exists. It's not like one's going to replace the other. If that makes sense. Yeah. Right. Maybe and part of. The people they can't uh, uh, make the difference between the films and the animation. I will compare every time. I will. See yeah, because if you do that, then you're 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 destined to not like it, probably, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> it's just not going to happen, right? Um, there's some remakes that I don't understand, like why they're 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 out. Um, like, actually, I do understand because it's usually just a money thing, but I don't understand why they thought it was a good move. Or smart idea, like this for instance makes sense. This makes a lot of sense, right? It's like a classic film. No, not too many people, especially this net, later generation, understands or knows what it's about. You know, so it makes sense. Mm -hmm. But like, if you look at like, um, like they made like an old boy remake, for instance, and that was just kind of like, but the other old boy was like already there. It's already really good. Yeah. Like, that didn't make any sense to me. Like I just didn't understand. Um, and it, I don't oh, think it did no, well. No, no. Yeah, I don't think it did well either. <laughs> Cause... I wasn't. I wasn't happy with that remake. <laughs> yeah, it's just. Uh, like, I, I didn't even watch it. I just knew. I just had a real clear suspicion that it wasn't going to be any good. I was like, "There's why?" It's like if it, it makes more sense if that movie uh, came out, um, you know, like in the '80s or something. You know, that makes more sense. And people just don't know it's like a cult classic, but it was a pretty popular film. Uh, and plus, it, it takes a certain audience to really enjoy it too, right? It's pretty dark. So yeah, I just wasn't sure what was going on there. The mentality. Anyway, I watched troll trolls over the weekend. Oh yeah, yeah. I want to watch with the kids. Maybe yeah, this I really weekend. did. I enjoyed it. I thought I wouldn't. I was just like, I was just like, eh, it's stupid. <laughs> Especially because like. I mean, trolls was a bad thing growing up for me. <laughs> Whoa, let's talk about this. I got some yeah. trauma, <laughs> troll yeah. trauma. Yeah, it's like it was the devil, part of the devil. Oh yeah. yeah. That's all I could say. Your old version, old school version of your pops. <laughs> Ed, Ed point one. But watching it, I actually enjoyed it. It was like 
Jeez, the animation, the uh, visuals and stuff, so beautiful. Like, you should watch it in 3D. I recommend that. But, like, um, just how, like, every little detail, like, it feels so comforting to the soul, I guess. Watching it. Go is, ahead. This, is this trolls or box trolls? Trolls. Oh, okay. Yeah. I haven't heard it was really just, it was good. It was like, whoa. This is fun. This is enjoying. You know, like I'm enjoying this. But I guess ultimately it reminded me of like an EDC dance party. No. Yeah. Oh, no. Nice. <clears throat> Let me know what you think when you watch it. Yeah, I'm sure I like it. I like uh, I like kid movies. Big fan the of music them. is cool. Um, the question, Lamb asked, "What do you guys think of Passengers?" Uh, I don't even know what it is. That's the... Which one's that? Is that like the... Oh, that's the other sci-fi. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it looks good. Looks good. Looks great. Yeah, Rival looks good. Wife looks good. Uh, what about Dunkirk? Anybody heard of that? No, I haven't heard of that one. Oh, wait, that... I I have. The names are just not coming to mind. That's the Nolan movie, right? It's the war movie. It's like a World War One movie or World War Two, but it's like in the perspective of the of Britain. Oh, the Doctor? No, okay. Well, get out of here, Mike. I don't know, man. I don't, don't watch movies. Yeah, don't we pretend. Yeah, that. don't even pretend. We already All know. Right. Just get out of here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> don't even pretend that you know what you're talking about. All right, fair enough. Um. Was, oh, the movie with doctors in it. <laughs> I, I saw Doctor Strange. Do I get points for that? Did you? I took my cousins to that. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, I liked it. Was it. Great. Yeah, watching movies and is cool. Did. You should you should watch them. You should watch them more often. Yeah. I, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm excited. There's a lot of good sci-fi movies. I'm excited about that. I like sci-fi films. Um, mm-hmm. And like these original ones too. That's kind of the thing too. It's like they're a lot of these are like original ideas. At least I think they are. I could be wrong. But anywho, any other questions? As I start to. What about District Nine? Yeah. What about it? My favorite movie. Just what I think about it. The questions you're getting. Those are the kind of questions you're getting. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like District Nine. I'm just thinking South Park, like. Member District Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Member Me- Goonies. Member. <laughs> Member. <laughs> yeah, District Nine was awesome. <laughs> yeah, I had a blast with that movie. So cool. I need to watch it again. Yeah, Member Chappie. Yeah, so good that the the director is still like getting jobs from it. It's like a Shyamalan, Lamalalan deal. Because he's dang girl, calm down. Why? Why is Grimmer yelling? You don't have to mute it. He's. It's not that bad. It's just funny. I can just hear him. Empanada. Empanada. I'm good. It's got meat in it. He's hungry. But thank you. It looks delicious. Man. Yeah, tell Grandma to to stop eating that that flesh of an animal. Have you seen those pita, pita videos? They're hilarious. It has like this old lady. And she's just like cussing <laughs> the whole time, but she's like showing you how to cook this recipe. This is so funny. It's, mm-hmm. She's just like, I'm gonna eat the shit out of this. <laughs> oh yeah, I got it. I got it. <laughs> but she's like, like why would it? like she's like talking about a, a kerdunkin or whatever, or, or mm-hmm. where you? She's like, did you know that there's this recipe out there where you stuff a, a dead corpse of a <laughs> t- chicken into a duck into a turkey? Sounds fucking awful, doesn't it? Sounds disgusting, and these motherfuckers have the decency <laughs> to smile while they're doing it. It's pretty weird, isn't it? Yeah, just, <laughs> it's yeah. pretty weird. Isn't yeah, it? she's just really funny about it. Uh, I'm not trying to push any agenda. I'm just saying this is really. You should just watch it. It's hilarious. No, it's, it sounds funny. Yeah, but anyhow, yeah, yeah. man. Uh, yeah, Planet Earth. Though I'm excited about that, especially Maybe. since I'm getting like really into creature design again. It's like, I can't wait to see, like, bizarre animal behaviors and just be inspired by it. Those those landscape shots, too. 
Yeah, I was showing it to my daughter, and she was like, what? What is this? So she's excited about it. I think I'm trying to watch it with her. Oh, see you later, love. Love you. Nina asked, what about Stranger Things? Yeah. Stranger Things is dope. I enjoyed it. You hate those cookies, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, but those... We'll talk about it after, me. I'm in the street. <laughs> it's not how that works, sweetheart. It's all mixed together, man. It, it's not like the vegetables come before the cookies. <laughs> like, um, anyway. Yeah, it's it's funny, our conversation. You know, like, I'm trying to tell her, like, she should stop eating dairy because it makes her sick. And she's like, look, I just got sick. And it wasn't dairy. And I was like, you ate those cookies. They're made from butter and milk. <laughs> like, literally, like, an hour ago. And she's like, no, the vegetables came first. I'm like, no. That's not how it works, sweetie. The thing is, is that it's not even, like, the whole vegan thing. It's like, she's actually also lactose intolerant. Like, it's just, like, it's just double down. <laughs> Bad news. She should just not eat it in general. But she just loves it. She's just craving, that's all. I let her do it. I don't have to fight. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, is there any other questions, though, up in the chat? How fresh she is. <laughs> Round brush. Next. Easy. Easy. Yo, feel free, oh, guys, I to ask any questions. I have a question. Um, oh, Johnny Hall. I'm curious. I'm curious because uh, I know you uh, use 3D Quote quite a bit, and do. Uh, you're going to do you do you find uh, ZBrush is still preferable for organic sculpting? I think so. I think 3D Code does really good organic stuff too. Um, it's just that ZBrush just feels much better in a lot of different ways. Yeah. Just like I think 3D Code feels a lot better in a lot of different ways. When it comes to hard surface, you know, like you could do, I could definitely do hard surface in ZBrush too, but just I don't feel as confident about it. Um, and you know, I know that it's not a, it's a preference thing, right? Because you know, there, there's people who use ZBrush and make amazing, amazing um, hard surface sculpts, right? And hard surface stuff in general. So it's not like ZBrush can't, right? And it's not that it can't do it. It's not that it's harder either, like dramatically harder. A lot of these people are really clever and found a lot of really great ways, great ways to get around it. And I think for me, that's the problem, is that uh, I don't want to have to get around it. I just want to do it, right? Yeah. And ZBrush, I think, like Pixel Logic, they understand this as a weakness too. You know, that's why they sharpen their hard surface tools more and more every year, every year, right? But 3D code just has already kind of an, a, a gr good array, like right out of the box, just how to make really easy hard surface stuff, like in, yeah. mi in minutes. I haven't I haven't touched uh, 3D code yet, but uh, I do struggle with hard surface in ZBrush. Like the organic stuff is really fun. Yeah. But yeah, I, I gotta try that out. I learned it in like a week. Like you can learn all the hard surface tools. Yeah. Have you been I using it? Yeah, I just used it for this uh, project I'm doing in the uh, next class. That uh, that like yeah. latest painting you did with like, kind of like the little. Yeah, the the sty uh, silo thing. So yeah, like, I was like, oh, it looks like he's using 3D. It's good, man. It's easy, right? It's pretty freaking fast. Yeah, it's, it's dope. It like it definitely like you have to get into like the second week stuff. Cause like for me, like I always like stop doing first week. But like once I like, like I went through like the first three weeks like. In one sitting, or not one sitting, but I like took all the notes on it, and then from there, like I started, and I felt like that was like a really good way to do it. Are you referring to John's class? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, I um. Yeah, I feel feel like three D coats just boss when it comes to hard surface. It's just so easy to do stuff with it. But uh, yeah. Uh, I, I tell people this all the time, though. It's like, you know, tools are tools. 
you know? You just use a tool the way that you need to use it. Like, you wouldn't want to use a hammer to, to screw in a nut, right? Doesn't make sense. Right? You'd use a, a wrench of some sort. And you could probably hammer in a nail with a wrench, but probably why don't you just use the hammer, right? So different tools do different things. I think with Photoshop, like it comes with, like it's like pretty much all I ever need in terms of 2D. I don't think I can ever abandon it. It's just too good. Um, and any other software that I've seen or tried to deal with, like they might have something really good about it, like one real great feature, and I will embrace that. But Photoshop can. It's not that it's so removed from Photoshop that makes me want to say I have to use this software just for this tool. You know, I could probably do everything in Photoshop when it comes to just 2D stuff. But with 3D, it's like inherently kind of built in based off of like the way the softwares were being developed, right? Like it's just kind of like some softwares took upon animation, others took upon 3D modeling, you know? It just seems like the, the way of the beast. And so for me, what I think was really, what's really interesting about 3D is just like, yeah, I just once I've accepted that, like there it probably isn't one tool to rule them all kind of thing, you know? Um, it opened me up a little bit more to trying more and more 3D tools and expand my horizon. So I usually recommend that to everybody. Like, don't just be caught up in one 3D software. You try them all. Uh, you will find some people really stick with one or two, which is, I think, is that's fine. That makes sense. Um, but for me, yeah, it's the same idea. I want to try to stick to very reasonable tools, but um, at the same <coughs> token, you know, if a new one comes out, I'm not going to be like, all right, whatever. Like, for instance, John was talking to me today about, like, um, uh, Blender. He's like, dude, Blender, you got to use it. I said, oh, I've tried it. It's pretty good, actually. I like it. But I haven't found any real use for it um, in my work. And so that ambition to use it is not there. But uh, I'm not divorcing myself from it. I'll just have to sit down and learn it. Maybe I'll sit down in like a study group session where we just sit down and learn Blender. But I got a, a, a badass in my back pocket. Jerry is like one of the best like Blender Jerry guys. Jerry Perkins. Blender guys I know. Jerry Perkins, yeah. Yeah. What's up, Will? What's up, Patrick? What up, yo? Yo. What's up, guys? We have a couple of questions coming in the chat now. Do you want to take them? Yeah, sure. All right. Let me get to the bottom. No. What is the best way to start learning a new medium? Uh, starting. That's the best <laughs> yeah. way. That's what I would have said. It's, uh, it's a recurring question, and I, I'm starting to answer it even faster. It, it really, it's just starting. Just People get caught up on like um, everything being perfect. Uh, to just even get started, it's like why? Like, what if? Uh, what if I didn't tell you anything? So that means you'd never try. You know, it's just yeah, just start. Once you start something, you you, you start asking it more, uh, more focused questions. Yeah, more focused questions that will help guide you to become better at that medium. But right now, like starting, is just as simple as just getting started. Like there really is, uh, you shouldn't have to ask for permission. Just go, like. Yeah, I I give you permission to start using a different medium. What the? So much of Jurassic Park in the background. Zombie. <laughs> Denzel. Yeah. It was Gurman. Yeah, man. Blast one. Maybe. <laughs> tell so Gur what's the most, uh... Tell Gurman to get the work. I feel like he's never doing work. Get the work, Gurman. <laughs> Do you want to talk to Gurman? No, I don't want to talk Real to Gurman. You should. I think you should. Just yell at him. <laughs> Just be like, get to work. Do it. Next question. <laughs> I'll talk to Grandma. Not uh, today, though. Uh, what's okay. the most efficient way, then, to learn a new medium? Uh, do it a lot. Do it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and do it consistently. Yeah, you know, I have a gr I've, I've started talking about how... I, I teach this, like, pretty much in my class right mm. and uh it, it's it's the same problem 
the same the, the question stems from the same problem of like you got to make sure you do it the right way right but yeah. like how, how could you how could you ever believe that or even think to believe something like that because think about the first person that did everything like wh- like how do you think how do you think that I did it do you think I went to a witch I went to some sort of a tarot card reader right and I was like how do I start learning 3D code and she's like well let me tell you let me read your your palms right <laughs> and then she's like this is how you're going to do it um, no I just pretty much Jama's teaching me and I learned it from Jama and uh, I got into it but even with Jama's teachings there's a lot of people that use 3D code but yet I uh, was one of those people that really excelled in it it's because it wasn't so much that Jama was teaching it that's a great tool like having someone to start teaching you something like straight up give you walk you through it but there's one thing that I just know how to do which is get better at stuff and the best way to do that is just to do it a lot and like uh, kisses uh, consistently just like a uh, Aaron just said you know and this is one thing that I teach my students like all the time like all the time and I have like 100 different ways of explaining this to my students until they finally understand that it is really truly simple <laughs> you know mm-hmm. they for whatever reason they, they don't want it to be as simple they want it to be like this overtly complicated series of things you need to do, and if you just do them, then you'll be an epic artist, right? Uh, no, it's pretty simple. Do something a lot, and you'll become really great at it. Um, and what I've done is I create a diagram. And now you guys are probably not going to be able to see this. This is delayed on the stream. But I, I, I did this diagram for a student where I said, you know, the short, the shortest path is the longest one. Okay, so if you look at this this image that's probably going to take a few seconds for you guys to see, but I've drawn a red arrow that's quantified by some distance, okay? And the longest path is the shortest. And what I mean by this is that, because all the times when people ask, like, what is the fastest way to do this? And then they, let's say they get that answer, and it goes off in that direction. And so what was the fastest way to do this? Or what's the most efficient way to do that? Or what's, how do I become better at this or whatever, right? And all of these things are kind of like, they're definitely leading you upwards, right? But they're distractions to kind of the bigger thing, which is stop doing these sprints of trying to get better. Just focus on getting better by doing one thing at a time, you know? And what ends up happening, uh, I do this thing where I say, look, if you add up all the times you took the shortcuts... You know, or at least supposedly took those shortcuts. Look what's happened, right? You've kind of like you're taking the longer path. After all, you know, because you're still going to be learning and you're still going to be um, advancing, but it's going to be at a much slower rate, right? Because the path is much longer. Because if you wanted to achieve it, achieve the goal. Right, which is right here, this kind of pink stash, you know, and you wanted to know the fastest way to get to that. Um, it's just by basically doing it constantly, you know. Like you guys saw me studying anatomy, like learning anatomy, right? What was I doing? Was I doing anything weirdly special? Was I doing anything that's like mind bending or uh, revolutionary? No, it's pretty much your standard way of studying something, right? <laughs> Like, you just take notes, you think about it, and you try to memorize, and you test yourself, and you just rinse and repeat. You know? Mm-hmm. Um, now, there's subtleties, there's things that uh, I think, like, if there's a specific problem, I usually can be able to spot it in students, you know? Like, oh, you need to specifically focus on anatomy, or you need to specifically focus on this for now, because right now, that's your problem, Right? Because it's like the number one thing that's holding you back. And it's very clear to me. I can see it so clearly. Like with Aaron, for the longest time, like it was like a uh, scale. And I kept on telling him, like, work on your scale. And he's like, nah. Nah, screw the scale. Now, he wouldn't say that. He would just be, all right, you got it, boss. And then he'd come in class and the scale still be screwed up. And I'm like, nah, dude, like, scale. And he's like, all right, got it, boss. And then, like, <laughs> until, yeah, until eventually he was like, oh, dude scale <laughs> and like, I know right and now he's like a king of it he's doing so much better at, like it's pretty impressive and uh, all it takes is a little bit of focus is what I'm trying to say 
uh, just mm-hmm. sitting down, focusing. You know, uh, whenever people ask me uh, about schools to go to, like, you know, they say, you know, which school should I go to? And I say, you should just go to a school that makes you draw a lot. You know, an art center does that. Um, so does Brainstorm. Just make sure to draw a lot. You know? Like, when I ask to go to, like, a physical school or some sort of, like, school in general. You know, my class, I try to get people to draw a lot. I make them do lots of thumbnails. And the challenges, I'm making you guys draw a lot. Right? Because, uh... Because it's going to make you better. Right? And if you, um... Just stay focused and stay consistent. That's why we got the dailies as well. You're going to get better. Like, look, uh, in six days of sculpting, I've, I've gotten minutely better. And I've been doing some practice sculpts in between the daily sculpts that I've been posting it to as well. And I've been timing myself at seven minute intervals. Keep myself focused. Sometimes I get distracted. So yeah, I mean, yeah, just get started. Toy. It's almost infuriatingly simple. <laughs> yeah, it it really is. Um, I mean, when you when you start getting at a higher level, like a higher, like when you start becoming a little bit more adept or more professional or more, like when you just start getting a little bit more epic with your work, mm. that's when those subtle, like that's when the subtleties will start to matter. Right. You know what I mean? But if you're still at the very beginning, like dude, those are the last things you want to worry about. Right, it's like like trying to be like asking Michael Jordan what shoes he wears to try to be better baller. Uh, trust me, his his Jordans are not what makes him good at basketball. But if you're like at the higher level, then it might matter having that slight advantage. All right, Sean asks, Jordans. do you notice any challenges in your muscle memory between switching from Photoshop to ZBrush with the uh, hockey's? Uh, no, not really. Um, it's mostly from 3D program to 3D program. So when I switch from 3D coat to ZBrush and ZBrush to 3D coat, I feel it then. Alright. Because it's uh, just, like, later. different. Like, I'm in 3D, so it feels different. Like, I already feel like I'm in a different world. But since 3D coat and ZBrush are in similar worlds, like, that's where it starts to kind of blend a bit. Right, like camera movement stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. All right, Lance asked, have you tried Blender? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we answered that. Cool. Um, Giovanni said the new ZBrush tools in the upcoming 4R8 update are amazing for hard surface. But yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. I feel like it's just a matter of time, right, when either ZBrush or 3D Code or, or some other third party, like one day there's going to be just one tool, right, that everyone's going to use, like the new Photoshop. But for 3D, like, you could just make everything in it. Right? And it could be one of these. Like, I think Blender might be one of the closest ones to do it. For for one big and huge reason, it's because uh, it's open source. And because it's open source, that means, like, people are constantly working on it and adjusting it and fixing it. Uh, Geo said, what about Clip Studio Paint over Photoshop? Since it's just a one-time buy versus subscription. Uh, Clip Studio Paint, I actually never used it. But Photoshop, I mean, yeah, subscription is fine. Because Photoshop is, like, now constantly being updated. And plus, it's, like, a powerful tool, man. Like, I've... I love Photoshop. Photoshop is just an amazing, amazing tool. I mean, you don't really hear too many people complaining about it. Because it's really good. I mean, there's some, there's still some problems here and there, but like, it's a powerful tool. Uh, <clears throat> I think the only thing that might replace it for me, like something that I've actually considered to potentially replace it, is something like the iPad Pro and Procreate, or some of these like, like tools that feel like you're actually drawing and painting, and they work really well, and it's actually a little bit more intuitive, right? Like those tools are are crazy good. Like I was, I was shocked. I, I I tried it out in Italy. I was like, this is like really cool, man. I'm actually really loving it. 
Like I felt like I could do professional work on it. Which is a big deal. Not like sketches, but like actual pro work. I used to participate on the Procreate forums. Um, they Those guys work really hard. It's a great group of people. Okay. Uh, looks like the next question, and the last one so far, says, when did you feel confident enough to apply for a job? What was, uh, was it a amount like, wait, was it an amount of likes on DeviantArt? Or art station or something? Uh, no. Again, these are like superficial, right? Like, I just kept applying. I always thought I was dope. And then I, the people tell me that I wasn't. And I was like, all right, cool. What do I need to do to be dope? And I do this. And I was all right. And I would go back and do that <laughs> until eventually I got a job. Just kept doing it. Um, yeah, I think, uh, again, it's just this, this, this weird kind of, um, feeling that people have of, like, I need to make sure everything's lined up. And I get that. But you trust me, it's it's fine. Like you're, you'll be okay. Um, just get started. You know, don't be too uh, like for me. If I if I knew that answer to that question, then uh, I'd be a millionaire, right? I'd be selling. Yeah, you know the secret. Yeah, I'd be selling courses that are like do exactly this, and at the end you'll get a job, like guaranteed. You know, like I don't. I didn't even know like. Like, it would have been nice if I knew when I got a job, like, when I was about to get a job, but I didn't know either, right? It wasn't like, all right, now I've got this thing, time to get a job, right? I uh, I feel like that just wasn't how it went down. I don't know anybody that probably had that kind of foresight. It was like, once I'm done doing this thing, though, I'm going to get those jobs. It's going to work out. It just never works that way. <laughs> you just do it. See how the world reacts to it, and adjust. Just keep doing that. Rinse and repeat. Um, but for more importantly, like, uh, to kind of comment on the, the likes on DeviantArt and ArtStation, there's plenty of people that have lots of likes and lots of followers on ArtStation and DeviantArt that necessarily don't have jobs. So I don't think that matters either, right? I think that means there's a lot of great fans and people that appreciate their artwork. And their chances of getting a job is increased dramatically, right? Versus someone who uh, doesn't have that same. Because cause what it says is that there's there's two things that are being said. Uh, one is that you have good work, most likely, or, or work that speaks to people. Uh, and two, you're you're out there. You know, people know that you're doing stuff. So, yeah. All right. Seven more, seven more minutes. I'm gonna call this done. So well, yeah, I mean, based on that question, wouldn't it be the same thing as, like, if you got a bunch of likes on your work and it was all, like, sci-fi corridors, and then you go apply for a fantasy position? It's like, the likes didn't mean that you were ready to apply for that job. Your constant still doesn't fit the, the role, right? Or if you were doing a bunch of fan art, you could get likes on that, but that might not mean that it translates to a job, yeah, right? context, that helps. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense, too. Make sure you focus on the right thing. Yeah, just try to have portfolio pieces that people would hire you to do. That's really what it comes down to. Hope that helps. Alright, no more questions for now. Just uh Cool. Is everybody any... talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> hey Aaron. What up? Uh what classes are you taking right now? Right now I'm doing uh, art of business with uh, James. It's kind of just like learning about like contracts, rates, taxes, all the all the good stuff. Um, oh, dude, I should take that class. Yeah, it's dope. Uh, I'm also taking. I'm act, and then I'm taking uh, Nick Jindro's uh, World Building Two class. That's dope. And then uh, I'm sitting in and like TAing for uh, DC Three, which is a digital illustration. And that's uh, by James as well. The hell's that going? That's really cool. There's some badasses in there. That's cool, man. Nick is so dope. Yeah. Yeah, he just posted his demo from uh, class. Right on. Right on. All right. 
this is where it might get real fishy. Gonna close Photoshop. Gonna open up Keyshot. This is crash. gonna, yeah, this is gonna crash everything. Actually, don't say that, man. Don't jinx it like that, dude. That's not uh, cool. Dude, nah, never say that. You never say that, code. dude. I've crashed 3D code so many times. <laughs> you don't say that though, man. You don't say it out loud. You don't summon it. Jeez, Will. <laughs> Dang, Will. <laughs> Will. Will's carrying around that prayer stick, just. Hey, man. You know. Wait, you, I, I deal with Maya doing that shit to me all the time, oh, so I never summoned no. that shit, alright? Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Uh, I know what you mean. Stuff going, man? Uh, I'm on. working on a... I'm actually working on the new shot right now, so... Oh, dang. I'm in the middle right. of it. And then uh, I'm also writing my novel right now, so I'm, like... Like, scheduling myself, like, alright, I need to put this much time in animation, uh, this much time in writing... So, I should have something good by the end of the month, hopefully. Sweet deals. <clears throat> hopefully. Any other questions? Do Otherwise, I'm going to end this room. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Is that your cousin? Yeah, she's trying to cook. Tell her she's a fraud. You're a fraud, according to AJ. You don't know how to cook. Ah. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> mm. You think you'll paint this up later? No, nah, I've just Any been plans? practicing, sculpting. I'm trying to get the sculpts to the point where I don't want to paint on top of them. Like I they're see. good on their own. Oh, they're getting there. They're getting there. Yeah. Yeah, but any other questions before I roll out? Who else is up in this stream? In this Discord? Got John. Let me need this. How you doing, John? Sabby's up in here too, unfortunately. Unfortunately? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you, John. What's up, John? Daddy, how you, oh, you guys get a room. Get a room. My daughters, my daughters are great. Good, good, good. Hey. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're. <laughs> no, how are you, Jazzy? You doing alright? Yeah. Hey, no more. So. I'm passing it to. Uh... Let's take over the stream. <laughs> how are you doing, John? How are things before we go? <laughs> I want to talk to you. Do you guys, do you want to watch uh, that movie Hackshaw with me and Will? I thought I was trying to get Will up on that. The Hackshaw oh, yeah, something, yeah. the war movie. It's about Christians, right? Uh, I think the guy is a Christian, yeah. Yeah, I'm down. I like watching Christians. Christians are my favorite to watch. <laughs> I want to join. Yeah, you can join us, yeah, Aaron. Down. You just have to come when down you guys here, though. Watching it? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll try to do it this weekend or something. Uh, the Pianist was great. What in the world? <laughs> Random. I'm sure most of you saw the connection there. All right, so I'm gonna roll out, guys. Appreciate everybody. Appreciate everybody so hanging out. Peace out, yeah. friends, and uh, talk to y'all later. Peace out.